Google the most famous artist. That's me, right there between Picasso and Warhol. How is that possible? Because of selfies. In 2014, I painted my first mural, polka dots. Like Damien Hirst, but way cooler. It became the most Instagrammable mural in LA. Thousands of photos shared all over social media. Tourists, influencers, and brands shared their photos. I got more famous. In 2015, I painted my second mural, the selfie wall, because obviously, again, the most Instagrammable mural in LA. In 2016, I shifted my strategy away from flat walls. I dragged a duffel bag of cash around an art fair. I taught a famous dog how to paint a portrait of itself. And to end the year, my artist collective changed the Hollywood sign to say Hollyweed. It went mega viral. In 2017, I shifted strategies again, this time to installations. I painted a block of houses millennial pink. The public showed up in droves and the press took the bait. The New York Times, Time Magazine, Curbed, Teen Magazine, and BuzzFeed all wrote about the project. Thousands of people visited and shared the experience in the first few days. Now imagine if I had charged $10 to visit. Quick math, that's tens of thousands of dollars. I knew I was onto something. Then, brands wanted some of my magic. I created the Mural Agency. What can I say? I got a thing for obvious names. Companies like Amazon, Bumble, Billboard, CBS, Delta, ESPN, Ford, Gucci, MedMen, and NBC hired me. I work with talent like DJ Khaled, so I heard your name is the most famous artist. Selena Gomez, and Ariana Grande on selfie-friendly installations. And we noticed something interesting. When Selena posted a picture of her selfie spot, people from all over LA showed up, but most were only able to participate digitally. Fuck that, I knew we could do better. Meanwhile, a new kind of experience was emerging. 14th Factory, the Ice Cream Museum, the Color Factory. And I thought to myself, what the fuck is going on here? Turns out, these companies were capitalizing on selfie culture. They sold tickets to photogenic installations, like lots of tickets, like millions of dollars of tickets. I watched, Clone Wars began, but I wasn't sold on the model. These companies had high overhead, fixed locations, lacked creativity, and provided a pretty poor user experience. I knew we could do better, so I waited until now 